Very good morning children. Welcome back once again to our recorded classes. This is Ma'am Anna Rajshekha, your English teacher. Are you all ready for today's session? Yeah? Let's get started. Before we start off with today's session, let's quickly do a recap of what we learned in the previous session. In the previous session, we learned adjectives and its kinds. And I did tell you all, we will learn about seven different kinds of adjectives. And I taught you all three adjectives with definition and lots of examples. Isn't it? Now, what is an adjective? An adjective is a describing word which describes the noun or which modifies the noun in a sentence. Very clear? We also did learn the seven types of adjectives which were adjective of quality, adjective of quantity, adjective of number, demonstrative adjective, distributive adjective, interrogative adjective and possessive adjective. And we did learn the three types of adjectives with definitions. They are adjective of quality, adjective of quantity, adjective of number. Isn't it? And we also did learn adjective of quality tells all about the kind of noun. Correct? Adjective of quantity tell about the quantity of noun. Adjective of number tell about the number of nouns. Was this clear children? So we learned till here. So let's see what we will learn in today's session then. In today's session, we will learn about demonstrative adjective, distributive adjective, interrogative adjective and possessive adjectives, their definition with examples and then of course we will have questionnaire and then the assignments as well. Okay, so let's get into these four types of adjectives in detail. Let's look at what demonstrative adjectives are. We use demonstrative adjective to point out specific people or thing. Once again children I am repeating. We use demonstrative adjective to point out specific people or thing. For example words like this, these, that, those are used in a sentence and when we use this we use it in a singular form and for something which is nearby. We use that also for singular and something which is far off. We use these for plural form and something which is nearby. We use those for plural form again and something which is far off. For example, she wants those shoes. That pencil belongs to the teacher. These essays need to be graded. You should sing this song tonight. Very clear children? Hope you all have understood what demonstrative adjective means. Now look at what distributive adjectives are. Distributive adjectives show that the persons, things shown by the noun are taken singly, that is one by one or in separate lots. Now to understand it more better, let's look at the right hand side of the slide. Now distributive adjective show that the person or things are counted collectively and normally they are used with singular nouns. It also refers to members of a group as individuals. Okay, And for example, words like each, every, either, and neither are used in a sentence. So it's very clear children that distributive adjective shows one person. All right, It is shown as only one person or if it is a group it is shown individually. Okay, You can identify them individually or one by one. Now let's look at these examples. One of the pupils must have taken the pen. Now in this sentence if you notice that 
in a group or it can be a class as well. So one person has taken the pen. Second one, either you or I have to fetch him from school, which means that either you or me have to go and pick him from school. Each boy must bring his own bag. So in the class or in a group, if there are only boys, the sentence is telling that each of the boy must bring his own bag. Neither one of the answers is correct. So which means that either of the answer is correct. Alright. So hope you all have understood what distributive adjective is. Now comes the third one which is the interrogative adjective. Now interrogative adjectives are often used along with the nouns to ask questions such as where, who, how, why and which. So whenever we are using interrogative adjectives in a sentence, we normally tag them with a question with the words like where, who, how, why and which. Such words are words that determine the sentence completely in terms of questioning. For example, whose pen will they bring to you? Which book will they give you? Which notebook will they show you? What's your answer? What kind of plan did you create? Hope you have understood children. It's very simple. All what you have to do is you have to understand them. Alright? Let's look at possessive adjective. An adjective showing position or belonging is called a possessive adjective. For example, this is my water bottle. His coat got wet in the rain. So if you look at these two sentences, the first sentence it's telling that it is my water bottle. So the water bottle belongs only to me and not anyone else. His coat got wet in the rain. Whose coat? His coat. Only his coat. Okay. So possessive adjective means position or belonging all right so it is taking position or belonging to someone all right in a sentence now let's look at more examples i put up my house for sale whose house i put up for sale my house our school computer was stolen last week the cat is feeding its kittens she ties up her hair with a blue ribbon Hope you all are very clear children about possessive adjective. Done? Now. now we have learnt today the four different other types of adjectives. So I think you all should be ready to answer questions. So now it's question time. Are you all ready with a pen and a paper or you can even pause your recording and type the answer and send it to me. Let me see who will be the first one to get all the answers correct and you will also get a round of applause from me in the group. So the first question is, what is possessive adjective? What is possessive adjective? What do you understand by the word interrogative adjective? What do you understand by the word interrogative adjective? Give examples for demonstrative adjective. You can give two examples, children. Give examples for demonstrative adjective. Two examples. All right. And now let's quickly summarize all what we have learned. So in today's session, we learned distributive adjective which is point out noun one by one or individually so distributive adjective points out noun one by one or individually demonstrative adjective point out to nouns interrogative adjective asks question possessive adjective show position now if you remember these four things it's easy for you all to answer any questions that I ask. Alright? So, hope you all have understood till here. 
and hope you all have understood all the seven adjectives all right and in case if i give you all test you all should be able to write it without any hesitation if you understand children if you understand what each of the adjectives stand for it is very easy for you to identify what type of an adjective it is when it comes to a sentence very clear children hope you all have understood and hope you all liked today's session now for your assignment okay this worksheet what i have given i want you all to write it down in your homework book take a new page take a new page you don't have to write the heading again because you have already written it take a new page and continue put the heading as second may just the date second may and start off with match the words on the left with its correct definition on the right now this i don't want you all to mark it after writing these two most of you all what you will do from here to here one line you will draw i don't want you all to draw that line you i want you all to write the answer now for example this we'll put a dash and write what it is all right after that leave a line and write the second one once you have finished the match the following draw a line and write third name and write complete each sentence with this that these or those after this draw a line and please see that you do your homework on time and write me to children do not use black pen red pen no that's incorrect please follow the rules if you were in school so the same way you must assume that you are sitting in the class and writing your class work or if it's your homework please see that you do it neatly okay and i will be sending definitions via the whatsapp please continue do not take a new page continue it in the order it is all right just put the date and continue children once again i'm repeating please see that you all do your homework and class work on time and see that you all read what is given every day as you all know i keep calling you all and i pick randomly and start calling and when i find you all not reading i will start giving impositions all right and once again i request you all understand the definition if you all don't understand please call me or message me i will be more than happy to help you all out okay and also wishing you all a very happy dasra holidays take care until we meet in the next class this is ma'am anala trekker signing off take care children